In this session, I'll discuss about Markov decision process. And if you want to know what is a Markov process or what is a stochastic process, then you can watch my video on that, whose link is given in the pop-up card above. So Markov decision process is a discrete time stochastic control process where the states are partly random and partly under control of a decision maker and the decision maker is an agent that takes action at each state and the process will transition into a new state whose transition probability will depend on the action taken by the agent. So stochastic control process is a combination of partly random and partly controlled process and if such stochastic decision process satisfies Markov property also, then the process is called Markov decision process. So in Markov decision process, at each time step, the process is in some state ST and the agent may choose any action ST available in that state ST and then the process responds at the next time step by moving into a new state ST plus 1 and giving the agent a corresponding reward R corresponding to action AT and the transition from, from state ST to ST plus 1. And as this process satisfies Markov property, the probability of transitioning from state ST to ST plus 1 depends only on the present that is state ST and the action AT. So we can write probability of S T plus 1 given S0, S1 up to S T and A0, A1 up to A T is equals to probability S T plus 1 given S T and A T. And if we combine a Markov decision process with a policy that is the agent has fixed policy which describes the action that the agent will choose when the process is in state st that is at equals to pi of st that is the policy function then the state transition probability becomes equals to probability of st plus 1 given st because st incorporates information about at also which is directly dependent on st so to understand markov decision process diagrammatically let us consider a process with three states state s0 s1 and s2 and there are two actions at any given state that agent can take and they are a0 and a1 so let's say the process is in state s0 now the agent has choice of taking one of the two actions and depending on which action he chooses the process will transition into new state with a probability that will depend on the action taken so for example if in state s0 the agent takes action a0 then probability of transitioning back to state s0 will be 0.5 and probability of transitioning to state s2 will be 0.5 and the process cannot transition to S1 from S0 under action A0. Now if the agent takes action A1 then the process will transition into state S2 with probability 1 and process cannot transition from S0 to S1 or S2 under action A1 and corresponding to any transition from one state to another state the agent will receive some reward and the reward can be either positive or negative so this describes the markov decision process